No. Now uh, we are doing the, uh, the measurement of the distance between the two points by the direct ranging method. So in this method, uh, the main aim, the main aim of this uh, experiment is uh, you have to measure the distance by the direct ranging. Mm -hmm. You have to measure the distance between two points. So A and B are the two points. Okay. So A and B are the two points. So you have to measure the distance between these two points. Mm -hmm. So that is what uh, you are game. One is a uh, direct ranging by I judgment. You know, uh, you have to range it, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and another is indirect range uh, ranging. So you have to do this two methods. So here the whatever the, uh, the for the measurement of the distance. So you can measure directly by using the tapes or chains or indirectly by uh, other means. So there are the two methods of the ranging. So that is the direct ranging and indirect ranging. So what is this direct ranging I will tell you. Indirect ranging uh, I will tell you after explaining the direct ranging. So what is this uh, direct ranging? So this ranging uh, already I told there is a uh, for this in whatever the instrument which is used for this uh, this experiment that is the you should use the ranging rod uh, the metric chain tapes and arrows so uh, I'll show you that in the figure So this is what okay. so you have kept the ranging rods here 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 and here here so this is all the places you have kept the ranging rods so what this uh, length whatever the length this is not equal length this is unequal length just you have to keep it so you have to range that um, such that all this uh, all this uh, ranging rods are in same line like this okay this is a consider this is a straight line okay so this ranging rod this 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 all lies in this four ranging rods lies in same um, straight line so this is what you are you have to do it the main the uh, whatever the ranging rod which you are using and aligning in the straight line that is being done by the eyesight only mm, by using the eyesight you have to do that so what you have to do is you keep the ranging rod uh, one at this uh, at this point another this point and another here and another here okay mm. So one person has to stand here. So one person has to stand here. One person has to stand here. So this person will give the direction either this one or this one or this one moving either towards the left or moving towards the right. Mm -hmm. So by hand signal he has to give the direction. Consider A and B are the uh, A and B are the two points. Uh, A and B are these uh, here. Okay. So A and B are the two points. So in between C and D. Okay, C and D is the another point which we are uh, lying. Okay, so we have to do this one. Mm -hmm. But intermediate points are there now. That one we have to set it. Mm -hmm. So distance 
uh, for this distance and uh, this distance and this distance we are not made it as equal so just unequal distance but it has to be arranged in a single stretch so whatever the uh, a and b are the two points at the ends of the circle line uh, what uh, erect the ranging rods at the each end points so here erect the you have to erect the points one is here and another is here hmm. so these two these are the two points you have to erect it and okay okay so this is the one point this is uh, another point now you are standing here so you are giving the giving the signal hmm. so now in middle in middle two points whatever the two points are there you have to set out the two points so this is what the, the this is what one point you have been set out this is the another point we have been set so now what you have to do is you have to give the consider this point you have to label as a and b this is our survey line so after labeling this one so what you have to do is you have to give the direction for this one or and this one either moving towards the right side this is right side so this is left side either to move in the right side or moving towards the left side so you have to give the direction so after giving this direction you have to make such that you have to stand here by your eye contact only you have to judge you have to judge and make it all this uh, points are in straight line so this is what you have to do it so ranging rod i shown earlier so use uh, we yeah, it has been known it has been uh, available in the labs also so this ranging rod either this is the strips in the white and red color and black and white strips are available so this ranging rods you have to use for the uh, ranging for the survey lines so this is the direct uh, ranging so indirect ranging uh, i already explained in the previous video go through it uh, so that uh, this completes the measurement of the distance between the two points by the direct ranging